Oh guys, I'm back. I told you I would keep on. Oh yo, this is too much reverb. Y'all asked for the reverb, reverb on the mic, and y'all were hyping it up in the title of the creative video, which, by the way, is going crazy. I cannot even fathom that 30k people have watched that video. Like 30k individual people. Y'all are actual people living your lives, and y'all just watched that video. And 1,260 probably even more by now have subscribed to me that that is crazy i appreciate the support on my channel and on that video in, and all my videos in general i hope i can build a community of producers and people that like music we can build together and thanks for the support boring but y'all wanted the reverb back on the mic so it's back but today we're going to be making a Wonder Girl type beat. Wonder Girl, she's a female producer from Toronto. Super fire, makes beats for like Travis Scott, Jugga. Jugga's a fire artist from Toronto. So I'm going to be making a beat in that style if I can. Oh yeah, guys, on Wednesday or something, July 7th, I turned 18. So yeah, you guys could, if you want, if you want, wish a happy birthday in the chat. It's not, it's nothing big. I'm just 18. Y'all know what 18 means. I can finally do stuff I couldn't before. What do you mean by that? Oh, and Wonder Girl was in the remix project. I'm in the remix project. Might be the next big Wonder Girl. The only thing is, I don't have... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sailor, you did not... Shout out to Sailor, this beat from Toronto. If you don't know him, go give him a follow. Put in that work, I need bucks like a Bronco. Ain't talking money, I don't want the cop. So Okay, so I'm gonna find some sounds. Um, I'm gonna try not to use too many paid plugins. I'm gonna use some stock ones, some paid ones. You know, a good mix. But I'm gonna start off with a little piano. This is Flex, a good free plugin. And we're just gonna make a little dark melody. I'm gonna pick a random note. We picked G sharp on my keyboard. Um, so let's go right there. And let's build a little minor chord. I've taught this in a lot of my videos. Minor chords, you can build minor and major chords from any note. Basically, pick your note, skipping two, and then skipping three. So pick this note, skip the next two notes, place this note, skip the next three notes. All right, that's a little chord right there. And I can make it a different chord by basically moving this middle note. So it's three spaces and then two spaces. That's a major chord minor chord one sounds happier one sounds sadder oh someone told me this in the last video apparently i can do the little scale highlighting go to view um go to scale highlighting and then since we're picking g sharp g sharp and then i'm probably gonna do g sharp minor minor natural that's just the normal minor key and now all these whited notes are the notes in your scale Pretty cool, better than doing the sampler way I was doing before, and it's just easier. Oh, that's already kind of hard. Let's duplicate that. So far this won't sound like a Wonder Girl beat at first, but I have a little sauce. But yeah, um, a, a lot of Arturia's plugins have demos, so you can use the demos. And then that little trick I taught you, put the pattern here, right click on track one, consult this track from start. Um, it makes it into its own WAV file. I didn't tell you that. It makes you basically have the plugin for free, but whatever, I didn't tell you that. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Analog Lab 5. I know I said I wouldn't use as many paid VST. I'm still gonna use some. Oh, and y'all, this can be a free plugin if you 
finesse right. I'm not talking about cracking plugins. That's wrong. Yeah, don't crack plugins. It's very immoral. People work very hard to make these plugins. Big corporations that have a lot of money. But they work very hard to make these plugins. And you guys should pay the money for them. And don't crack them at all. Gonna copy this. Paste it onto Arturia. And find some dark pad sound or something. Let's go to my banks. Or we can just type in dark. <laughs> I don't even know if this will work. Oh, it, it did. Let's see if we... I don't know if that's too low, but... I'm going to remove the chords from this, but let's do that. That sounds kind of hard. Using a lot of weird uh, sounds can add to the vibe for Wonder Girl. Let's type in dark again, see if we can find even more sounds. Who knows? Copy the same thing. Let's find some pad. Um, I will go to my back, banks, astro, fire, pack from Arturia, or I forgot who made it, but it's really good. kind of lagging my thing um we'll use one more maybe sakura i know this is a really good stock plugin so we're gonna copy the piano and just find a good sound damn that's loud and obnoxious um let's just find something i'm probably gonna go into pads I'm gonna do something different on this. Basically cut all that out. Cut all that out. And do all you. This will chop it out. Okay, so everything's lagging right now. We're gonna put everything onto its own mixer track. Um, and we'll, we'll add some effects. Like this one, this one, this one. This one needs some chorus, I think. Um, some sketch cassette. I'm not gonna play it right now because it'll lag, but lo fi and then outer space phone call. That's a fire plug preset. And we'll also maybe cut out the lows for these. For this one, I'm gonna add pancake to pan it for the piano. I um, might add some reels just to give it a more vintage old feel. Let's go to tape, master vintage, or maybe even master mellow, I think. And then I'm gonna even add this vibes plugin to add even more tape saturation. And we'll turn the gain for the noise down a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unarm my mic for recording. And now we have everything, right click here, Consolidate this track from track start. Okay, so now we basically have the whole thing consolidated in the, into its own thing. We can just put it down if you want, but I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna go on to back to the channel rack, go to all, changes to pattern, and add fruity slicer. Bow. We'll go to all. Click on this. This is the thing we just consolidated into its own WAV file. Click on it. Basically drag that WAV file. What we did is basically drag that WAV file into Fruity Slicer. So now you see this if you click on Fruity Slicer. You want to click on the Chop tool and press B. This will chop it on the B. So every quarter note or something. And now we can pitch it up down here. Let's see. And we'll maybe turn that up. Let's mute all the other plugins too. So it doesn't have to be. Let's delete everything. And now I'm going to use my Akai 
to basically make a little pattern. And I'm going to click on this wrench, go to the second part. And like with what we do with 808, we basically make it cut itself, turn everything else down except for hold, make sure it holds all the way up. Yo, that's already kind of fire. Let's pitch. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for the sample. Basically what I did, made a little dark melody using a lot of minor chords, pick a random key, make minor chords on top of it, and I consolidated it into its own WAV file and put it into Fruity Slicer. Chopped it up with a MIDI keyboard, or you can even click it in, not that hard. I might even add some more changes, like shortening this last one. even pitch it down one more <laughs> yeah that's so I downloaded these all the Wonder Girl kits yeah I got these kits on reddit reddit's your best friend YouTube's your best friend when you're starting out as a producer even when you're not starting out just to find some good sounds search up any artist you want drum kit it'll show up on reddit yeah. so the second one has less velocity I might even shift the second one over a little bit. These drum kits even have, what's it called, drum fills, so let's find some. Ugh, that one's kind of hard. Let's find some snares. I like layering my stuff when I'm making any beat, basically. Let's shorten these. Just adding some perks and other stuff. There's this one pack that has some really good snares. Oh yeah, it's this one. I'm trying to find the snare to layer on the second snare hit. this little um, sound shifter on my master makes some stuff hit harder for some reason see that's there let's start with the 808 Pitch it an octave up or two, just to know that it's hitting on the run. I'm just hearing this little 808 pattern in my head and kind of humming it out. Now I'm gonna add a little 808. I'm thinking of adding one here from nothing. A lot of times, it, um, Wonder Girl does this. It's a cool effect. Don't overuse it though. Um, highlight that. Turn it. Down. I'm just hearing if everything's on key. That sounds good. Might make these one of these 
Or maybe both of them. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Mm, that kicks hard. Copy the 808, paste it onto the kick, and we'll add some variations. I'm turning up the kick even more. Uh, mm. Yo, adding some accent kicks like before one the 808 one hits makes it so much harder. It's so much. Ooh, maybe even a three hit here. And then I might do like a little roll here. Excuse me, guys. This is hard. And then a roll here. I needed some more open hats, I think. But it's almost done. It's almost done. Fire. I'm gonna add some more effects. But let's start arranging it and got to mix it too. Might add some strings. I'm really feeling that right now because we can get the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Best plugin in the game. Y'all already know. I mentioned that too much in my videos. But it's such a fire plugin. Not for any reason though. Just, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's add BBC. Bow. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to make a video where that joke is in it. Let's change it to pizzicato. Okay, I'm going to arrange this beat and we'll be back when it's done. My voice is pitched down. <laughs> okay, now my voice sounds normal. Who knows? Whatever, guys. I arranged the beat. Took some time. Took a lot of time. But... It's fire now. Hope you guys like this breakdown on how to make a Wonder Girl type beat. Pretty fun. I like making dark beats like this. I can hear Travis Scott definitely juggle on this. He's like, Zilla call me X Travis Scott or something. It's crazy. Wonder Girl produces for him exclusively. So he has some fire beats. I could definitely hear him or someone like that on this beat. If you guys like this beat, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe um, and comment what types of videos you guys want to see next. I wasn't gonna make this video, but one of you commented, "Can you make a Wonder Girl type beat?" And I made it. So the video idea can be next. So comment down below. Hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.